Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. This vlog picks up right where the last one left off. So make sure to head there first and we'll be getting into all of the nitty gritties of just stupid things of just me being stupid when moving. Okay, welcome back to present day. It is currently Thursday, Australia time. I am about to take a rapid COVID test. I brought some with me. I wasn't sure how hard they were gonna be to get here. So I'm gonna take one of those. Finally, I figure out how like the aircon works. It's not as hot here as I was expecting because last time I came here, I died. It was so hot, but I'm in a hotel for a couple days until my lease starts at my apartment. But yeah, let's take a COVID test and have so much fun. I don't even, my brain is just like so messed up right now. But yeah, I wasn't sure how hard they were gonna be to get here. And obviously I did travel like over pretty much 40 hours-ish to get here. So rather be safe than sorry. And then obviously I'll take another, I think they said six days, but I've also heard five days. So not an issue. I don't have a problem taking 15,000 COVID tests at this point, but let's do that. And it's gonna be so much fun. Hope this is interesting content. While I wait for my test results, I have to sort out my SIM card situation. So I just popped my SIM card. Fun fact, the easiest way to change it is just with a paper clip. Just ask for one at the front desk and then you can easily change it yourself. You can't even see that, it's so small. It's like in the side of your phone. So I already have an Australian one. I completely forget how to do this. Like you would think that I would remember because I've actually changed my SIM card many times before. I should probably get an extra piece of tape for that. I don't want to lose my American one. I've literally had the same number for ever. But yeah, it's actually really easy to change your SIM card. The first time I changed it was when I studied abroad in New Zealand. It just made the most sense. And phone plans are actually so much cheaper here in Australia and also in New Zealand, like versus the States. Like it's actually quite ridiculous how expensive they are in the States compared to here. But anyway, so I did that when I was in New Zealand. And then when I traveled to Australia for like four days, however many years ago, 2019, three years ago, I was here over three years ago, which is crazy. Even though I was only here for those three days, it was like $10 for like some data and whatnot for those days. And then I also got one when I was in Germany visiting my brother when he was studying abroad. And similar thing, I don't remember their phone plans being that expensive either. Like this is so weird seeing my phone without a phone case on it. You know, gotta love case to five. If you want to sponsor me, mine is like disgusting and like coming off. It does say coffee nut at coffee nut on Instagram, but it recently started coming off. Um, Cause like when I hold it, that's where my fingers normally sit is on those, those letters. So you can't even read what it says. Oh wow, that's actually so interesting. So I had a timer going for my test and it stayed still going from when I turned it off. I wish I had a cooler story other than I literally thought that I broke my phone and I had to, uh, I really thought, I don't know if I, I was gonna have to get a new one. Like I was freaking out. The apps wouldn't open. I couldn't like lock, you know, do the reset button um, where you hit all the three buttons. And yeah, so I decided that I'm done trying to fix my phone because for about 25 minutes, I thought I completely broke my phone. And I was like, iPhones are really expensive. Really don't want to buy a new phone right now. Or deal with Apple. I don't even think there's an Apple here. Anyway, so I'm just going to go to the phone store tomorrow and sort this out because I don't have to do it today. It was more so I was just like, I've done this before, baby. And obviously, like, didn't really work out too well for me, huh? So, yeah, we're just going to stop. Oh, results came back negative. Woo! Um, and whatnot. So obviously still taking caution. Thankfully, like everyone here so far is like taking everything very seriously and whatnot. But I was recommended a pizza place downtown and I was thinking I'm going for a walk and trying it out. 
now that I have a working phone. Like literally I thought I killed my phone. I was convinced I killed my phone. This angle is just not working, but you know, whatever. I got a great flat white. I'm sure you already saw that footage. If not, here we go. What even is this video? I genuinely thought I broke my phone. Oh my god, I would have cried. Oh my god, oh my god. Also, can we just appreciate that I couldn't figure out the drain here? You know what, actually let me show you because, okay, my life right now, I don't know what is going on. Oh, I guess I'll give you like a mini room tour. <laughs> Everything's a mess. Um, you know, plain Sudoku. You know, you know. Figured this thing out finally. We love that, it took me a second. Um, first off, thought I like broke everything. I didn't realize that for the power, it's like one of these guys where you put in your room key. I literally thought I had no power and um, I almost cried. Let me see if I can figure this out. There's too many buttons. Like what? A night light. Okay, uh, that one works. Okay, so you see this drain? When I came, it was closed. And I was very confused and I really didn't know what was going on. And so I literally went downstairs to ask the front desk, where is the drain thing? I'm like looking for like, you know, a button or whatnot. He was like, well, did you push the drain? I'm not used to filming with mirrors with, uh, you know, everything. So what up guys? This is how you look when you are uh, 40 hours in with everything. Also, side note, I don't understand these showers. Like, it has like the slightest like lip right here and then it's kind of just like, it's slightly slanted, but I'm just like, it's bound to make a mess. Okay, let me figure out where I'm going. Okay, so it's called Tiama, this pizza place. A friend of mine, Ashley, great name, actually moved here um, she's also doing her masters and yeah, that's a cute little waterfront and I'm gonna go for a walk and get some pizza There's my beauty right on the water and just like make it out from this hill This is kind of like the cute little harbor lots of interesting ships my brother would be all over that one. I think there's like some cute restaurants and stuff too. So actually where I'm going to grab food is across the street from the institute where my school is, my uni, the Institute of Marine Antarctic Science, which is so exciting. This is so weird. Like I've been here before, but yeah. Also, you can tell I'm not from around here when I just like cross roads and not wait for signals. Like that's a very, that's a very like Northeast tri-state area thing to do. No, I'm not gonna cross right there actually. Actually, I need to. Yeah, I need to go that way. Cool. I didn't check the weather before going on my walk. So feeling some raindrops and uh, getting kind of nervous because I really don't want to walk home in the rain. Yeah. Oh, this is a really cute part of town. Oh, lots of cute little shops there. It's called Salamanca Market. Super cute. Almost there. All the ship ports and stuff here. Like it hasn't hit me yet. Like, yeah, that's crazy. Like I would, last time I was here, I was just dreaming of coming here. Uh, it's drizzling. Uh, excuse me, Hobart. I'm trying to have like an emotional moment with my phone with, with you guys. Okay, I think I found the restaurant. I hope it's good. Pizza was good, got some to take away. 
it was a little bit different like instead of having a vegan cheese they had a vegan like cheese sauce but honestly i didn't mind it wasn't like super heavy and like just the fact that places here have on like every single menu pretty much oh this can be made vegan this can be made gluten free this can be made dairy free i take it this city is not um used to people talking to cameras or their phones like would i do this around new york or parts of new jersey too back home i don't know it's like not as weird and out in the blue yeah okie dokie pizza carbs even treated myself to a margarita what more do you need nothing i forgot that hobart is really hilly and now i'm walking up a hill and i'm out of breath that's the update